because it's not entirely bad, but I wouldn't say it's fantastic anymore. Like, I also... Check it out. Okay, why hello there, YouTube. My name is Alyssa, and welcome back to this glorious YouTube channel. So, today, it's a little bit late, but we're doing it. We are going to be talking about Wrestle Kingdom 15. I know, it's here. Wrestle Kingdom has now come and gone. I can't believe it. I'm sure you can't either. Um, we're gonna have a talk. We're gonna go over what I thought. We're just gonna converse. Let me know what your thoughts were on the show in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you want more NJPW slash anything like, I don't know, lifestyle or if you like K-pop. <laughs> I make a bunch of weird content. I haven't quite decided what my, if I'm going to have a niche or what my niche is going to be, but I like a bunch of stuff. So if you like a bunch of stuff too, subscribe. <laughs> um, also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's get into it, shall we? So we're going to start off with... El Phantasmo versus Hiromu. Now, okay. You guys know I love Hiromu. Hiromu did amazing in this match. He tried his best with what someone like Phantasmo was giving him. I personally am not a Phantasmo person. Never have been. Never will be. Not my cup of tea. He does a little too much brawly slash like out of the ring stuff for me. I mean, as much as I like out of the ring stuff, he does, it's just too much sometimes for me with Phantasmo. I don't think he's a bad overall wrestler. I just think his style might not be for me. Um, that's kind of what happened with this match. I was happy to see Hiromu emerge, still victorious. I was happy to see that. Hiromu deserves it. Um, and I was just glad that they, I'm still, I'm still, like I said, I've said before, I'm really glad that they're pushing Hiromu. I think he deserves it. And I really hope that he stays as consistent as he has been. I gave this match a three because I thought it was in the middle not too good not too bad like i said hiromu tried with what he was being given i feel like you know i feel like phantasmo like i was saying did a little too much brawling for me out of the ring stuff i'm not with it entirely sometimes so i think it was in the middle for me um so our next match is the Gorillas of Destiny versus the Dangerous Techers. So, I love the Dangerous Techers. Okay, they have, I think the Dangerous Techers are a good tag team together. I think they actually have fairly decent chemistry. And it's very interesting because you don't see suzuki Goon much together in this way, I guess. Like, I mean, I guess they have tag teams, but it's not like this. And it's very interesting to see Zack Sabre, the Zack Sabre and Tai Chi, of all people, have such good chemistry working together in this way. Um, I was happy to see G.O.D. back. I always enjoyed G.O.D., but I feel like G.O.D., as of recently has started to fall off a little for me because it's all the same thing. I mean, there's as much as I love them and their shit was cool for a bit, like, after a while, I think their shtick and slash gimmick is just one of those gimmicks 
that kind of gets old fairly fast after a while and it mm, I don't want to say just gets bad because it's not entirely bad but I wouldn't say it's fantastic anymore like I also don't I mean I think G.O.D. are decent workers but I don't think overall they're fantastic wrestlers or anything I think that putting them in a tag team was a good idea because I don't think that they could work steadily without each other But, and that's completely different than having Zack Sabre and Tai Chi. Those are two people that regardless of if they're in a tag team, if they're out of a tag team, if this, if that, whatever, they can do it. So, you know, I was happy to see G.O.D. get the title in a weird way because, I mean, they haven't had it for a bit, so sure, why not? Hopefully... Zack Saber can go do something bigger. I really want them to push Zack Saber. Really, really do. But they might not do that for a bit. But I am just crossing my fingers. <laughs> um, I gained this match three. It was another in the middle match for me because, like I said, I love Dangerous Techers. I've always kind of enjoyed the GOD. This match, though, wasn't. For me in the G.O.D. sense. I think I preferred Dangerous Techers. Because their overall styles I feel like go together very well. They're a very fluid, good tag team for some reason. And also, I just love Zack Sabre. So, there's that too. Um, so, our next match, our third match... That we're gonna go over. By the way, these are all from night one so far. I'm gonna put what night one and night two into one video. So, but yeah, our third match on night one was Kenta versus Satoshi Kojima. <laughs> Which, okay, first things first, you knew the outcome of this match. I don't understand. I understand that I've heard that Kojima took place for Juice because Juice was originally supposed to be in the match but got injured, which makes sense. But it you knew Kento was winning the match. That's all I'm going to say. And I wasn't for that predictability. I don't like major predictability. And, I mean, this was pretty predictable. I can't even say it wasn't. Also, Satoshi Kojima is older. And so, it really made for not that great of a match. Because Kenta's already bad in the first place. It just was not it at all. For me, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but it wasn't the best. Because I feel like, especially Kojima, tried. If that makes sense. So, I gave this match a 2 due to Kenta and Kojima it just not working. And Kenta in the match ending being predictable as So, our fourth match of the evening was Tanahashi versus Okan. Y'all, I didn't hate this match, but I didn't love it necessarily either. I like both of these people, and I thought Tanahashi really tried to put Okan over. I also really thought Okan did a fairly good job. In this match, like, that that man is so good. His character is perfect. I have nothing else to say about Okan other than good things. I just love 
the character. I love everything about him so far. I think he's great, and they did, and they, it just works so well for him. I don't know how they do it, like, but every single time they come out with a character like this, it just works. It's like Jay. Like, Jay's character, like, any character in NJPW where they come from the Young Lions to some, the characters just work. And I don't know how they do it, but they do. And it's amazing. Um, but I love Okan. I love the character. I thought he did amazing in this match. And I really think Tanahashi was a big help. And I, you could tell, though, that Okan was a bit nervous throughout the match. Um, and, you know, understandably so. Tanahashi is a very big name for one of your first solo matches like that. And it's probably a bit overwhelming. And, you know, I get it. It's not easy. And I think Tanahashi did very well at trying to put him over. Um, overall, I would say the match wasn't spectacular, but it wasn't bad. Which is why I gave it a 3.5. I thought they both did a fairly good job. But it was just a match. It was just a match. It wasn't anything special. It was just there. It was a good there match. If that makes sense. Match number five of the evening is Okada versus Osprey. Holy shit. Okay, I just want to start this off by saying these men had in ring chemistry to no end. Like, it was crazy. But it was a weird match because I didn't really feel like there was any major stake. Like, there was any reason for them to be going as hard as they were. Like, Osprey literally did this spot where he got Okada on the side, on, like, the ring apron. And then he, like, elbowed him in the neck, I think is what he did. And I was like, the second I saw that spot, I was like, holy shit, like, dude, be careful, because that move, whatever it was, I'm sure you guys can go back and watch it and know what I'm talking about. I don't remember if it was like an elbow to the neck or what it was, but it was like on the ring apron. And I was like, dude. Like, that could have went, like, it was a move that, if not done right and in the right way with the right person, could have went very bad. And then he just kept throwing it, and then he just kept, and they just kept putting each other through tables and shit, like, sometimes. And Okada's back was red by the end of this match. Red. Um, but I thought overall, they had very good in string chemistry. I was very surprised. Um, I did not think this match was going to be as good as it was at all. Like, I don't typically go for Osprey matches entirely. You guys know that. I don't hate Osprey as a wrestler or anything. He's just not always my cup of tea. So... Seeing this match and how good it was, I was just like, holy shit. Like, they've got chemistry. And I really hope that they do this again, but with actual higher stake in it next time. Because I think it would be ten times better with a stake. Like, a legit stake in it. Like, maybe a title or something. Of some sort, maybe, like, an Okada versus Osprey title match like this. Oh, that would be good. Um, I gave this match a four. I thought it was fucking incredible. Um, but it wasn't quite 
five. It was a little more there to me than a five, but it was still very good. So we're now on to the last match of night one. So this match is Tetsuya Naito versus Kota Ibushi. So, okay, you guys know how I was kind of off on this match because they've done it quite a bit now. But they fucking go for it every single time. And you just go, holy shit. Like, they make you enthrall in all of their matches. And I just love them when I see them. I understand why they keep doing it. Because they're just so good together in the ring. They literally fucking almost kill each other. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's insane. Um, I literally thought that this match was probably one of the better Naito versus Ibushi matches, too. I mean, it was some good, just Naito and Ibushi style shit where they're pretty much breaking their necks the whole time. And you're like, why are you doing that? But you're still like, but this is amazing. And I'm going to continue watching. Because what the fuck are they doing? And, you know, like, it's a it was a typical Naito and Ibushi match. But they brought it up a little bit. Which, I it's it was still... Holy shit for me because they brought it up such to such that high level. They had major energy. Probably because also it was a double title. Ibushi and Naito were probably both like, fuck yeah, like let's do this. We're gonna go for it. And you know, they went for it and they did fucking amazing. I cannot take any of that away from them. I definitely think that this was my favorite match of the night other than Okada versus Osprey. Which is why I gave it a 5! Even though Ibushi won, it was still a very good solid Ibushi match compared to some of the matches I've seen from Ibushi recently. So, you know what? I was okay with giving it a 5. Ibushi deserved the five for this one, and so did Naito. I'm glad, I'm in a weird way glad that they're putting over Ibushi, because I think he deserve. I think he does deserve it, but I just wasn't sure. After seeing that match with Sonata, I was just like, I don't know, maybe he's getting too into himself, but I don't think so. I think... It's fine. He's going to be fine. And I really hope that he's a good champ. So our first match of night two is Bad Luck Fale versus Chase Owens versus Toriano versus Bushi. Th this match did not last long or anything at all. I also am not always the biggest fan of Fatal 4-Ways. And these are all people that, like, are kind of pin eaters. So you're just like, well, which one of them is it going to take the pin? I mean, it wasn't a bad match necessarily or anything, but it wasn't, like, a top of the line, anything major, like, eh. It was eh to me, to be honest. As much as I love Yano... And everything. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I wasn't with it. I was glad to see Yano keep the trophy though. Because I think Yano deserves it. Yano needs to be put over too. And I'm glad that they're kind of putting him over. In their own weird little way. <laughs> um, Which is why I gave this match 2.5. Because 
I didn't really think it was in the middle there. It was just kind of there under there, if that makes sense. There wasn't that much there for me to even be like, this is good or anything. I'm also not always the biggest Fatal 4 white person, like I said. So there's that too. Second match of night two is Ryusuke Taguchi and Master Wado versus El Desperado and Kanemaru. I was not that, I mean, okay. I didn't hate the Taguchi and Wado tag team. I thought it was pretty good. I think they have some chemistry, but I honestly, I always, honestly, I always enjoy seeing El Desperado and Kanemaru. I love those two together. I think they work together so well. And I'm really glad that they kept them together, even though they split them up for a minute there. I'm really glad that they're working together again. And also, though, this was another there under there kind of match for me. There wasn't a lot to it, in my opinion. I didn't really think it was spectacular or anything. It was just kind of... A match, you know, that people won. And I was just like, okay. Good for you. Which is why I gave it a two. Because, honestly, there wasn't, like, much there for it for me. It did, nothing happened that make me that, to make me go, holy shit. It was just, like, a tag match. It wasn't anything great. Um, so, you know, our third match of the evening is Shingo Takagi versus Jeff Cobb. Oh, my God. Yo! This match. Okay. I love Shingo so much. Shingo is so good. Shingo can literally do anything. I just love Shingo. Shingo is the literal goat. I'm not even joking. Shingo is a goat. He deserves so much better. Give Shingo a main title. Please and thank you. I need it. I want it. It needs to happen. Just make it happen. <laughs> um, I honestly, I always love, I think I, I think there was a, I think they did this match before. And I loved it last time and I loved it this time. Because Jeff Cobb is also so good and he's been fairly consistent since the G1 still and I really enjoyed both of these people and they put on they have very good chemistry at least I thought and I it made for a very good strong style match that was just like yes please give me more of this I want more of it. I'm really glad that they kept the title on Shingo. Because I think Shingo deserves to hold the title. Like, the man is just so good. Like, put Shingo over to the best of your abilities. Please and thank you. Um, I gave this match a four because, like I said, I thought it was pretty fucking good. Like, they have very good chemistry. It made... And they do a very good, they're both very good strong style wrestlers that I always enjoy seeing together. And I hope to see more of them. Let's just cross our fingers. So, our next match is Sonata versus Evil. I was surprised by how good this match was. I think Sonata brings out the best in Evil. Because this match was actually a very good Evil match. And you guys know that I never say that in my life. <laughs> Especially since he's been in Bullet Club. Uh, these two have very good chemistry. And they work together so well. And anytime Evil would mess anything up in the slightest, Sonata was there to cover it up because he is just that good. The man is just that good. 
give him the title from Abushi. Please and thank you. <laughs> um, but I love Sonata. I think Sonata's fucking amazing. Like, he really made this match for me. Even though Evil kind of did too. I think Evil was definitely trying a bit harder because he wanted to one-up Sonata, but that doesn't work. You don't one-up Sonata. You can't do that because there is just, you can't do it. Sonata is just too superior in that way. I hate to say it, Evil, but you cannot one-up your old tag team partner. I'm sorry. It just does not work. You can't do it. it, it it's not going to happen. I need this match a four because... Overall, I wouldn't say it was five worthy because it was a little more there to me than a five, but it was still fucking fantastic. I thought it was great. Loved it. Loved these two together. They have such good chemistry, and I kind of want to see it again. Maybe. It was a match I wasn't expecting to like as much as I did, to be honest. Our co-main event it was Hiromu Takahashi versus Taiji Shimori. So, okay, I love Hiromu to death. We all know this. Hiromu is so good. He made this match for me. I'm not going to lie. Even though Ishimori did too. Ishimori is a very solid wrestler overall to me. I don't hate him. I think he's good. He's not... I, well, I don't think he's bad or anything. I, I'm i not with the character. I'm not like an Ishimori fan or anything. Like, go Taishi Ishimori! <laughs> no, that's not me at all. But I think he's an overall solid wrestler that can do decently against someone like Hiromu. They had fairly good chemistry, I thought. I mean, they seemed to like working together. Um, and, and, I mean, they put on a decent match. Like, I thought, like, I didn't think that there was anything wrong with it. I mean... It was a, it was just a Hiromu versus Ishimori match, even though I don't really know if we've ever seen that before. Actually, this I think was a bit new. I didn't see anything wrong with the match. I thought it was fairly good. They had some nice spots. Ishimori, like I said, overall is a fairly good wrestler that I think can do well up against someone like Hiromu. So I didn't hate the match. I have. I don't really have any qualms or anything about the match. So I gave it a four because I thought it was a little more up there than a, than there or anything to me. Like it was solid overall great. They are two great wrestlers to me, even though like I said, I'm not a big Tai Chi Shimori fan overall. I thought this is a great match for him. Just as I thought it was a great match for Hiromu. They definitely have good in-ring chemistry. And I kind of want to see them together again. Hopefully we will. Maybe in the future. Um, maybe. I mean, I thought overall it was good. Hopefully, you know, it means good things for both of them. That brings us in to our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Jay White versus Kota Ibushi. The long 40 some 48 minute grueling match. This match was fucking nuts. Like, there is no doubt about that. They literally tried to kill each other, and it was just crazy. I honestly wasn't sure who was gonna win. Like, I, I was like, really at this point. It could go either way. I mean, it really, to me, the match could have went either way. And then, like, oh, just the match was, there was some crazy spots in this match. And it was just so 
good. It was such a good... It was even such a good J match. Like, J puts on some really fucking good matches. But this is one of the better ones. Even to me. And the Bushi, as much as he hasn't been pulling out the stops recently, he pulled out all of the stops for this match. Like, it was not. And that's why I'm really hoping that Ibushi can be a really good defending champion. I really hope that he does well with the championships. Um, but bringing me back into the match. Um, I thought it was fucking fantastic. It was crazy. There was like out of the ring stuff, in the ring stuff. Like they were doing flips, tricks, like in a weird ways and they were breaking each other's necks like Naida want to bushy do and I'm just sitting here like holy shit like what are you guys doing and then it was like there were a few times where I was like is this gonna be it like did Jay do it or did Abushi do it and it finally ended at like 48 minutes and I was like okay that makes sense. I mean, at first I wasn't as happy with the outcome, but regardless, I hope it means good things for both of them. Abushi won, and I'm happy that he won inadvertently because I think he could be a good champion. I really do, and I really hope he is. Um... I gave this match a 5 because th this was just one of the best matches of this Wrestle Kingdom to me. Probably maybe even the best match of Wrestle Kingdom to me overall. Like, it was nuts. There was no other, there's no other way to put it than just nuts. Um... But that's going to bring this video to a close. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite Wrestle Kingdom 15 match was in the comments. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you, when I upload is that important, be sure to hit the notification bell. And if you like me, if you want more content like this, or other content in general, be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.